Hello beautiful strangers and welcome to Cat Reacts. I'm Cat and I react to mostly 80s and 90s films and if that is something that interests you then why not subscribe? Today I'm going to be reacting to a film called Oscar. It starts Sylvester Stallone and that is all I know about it. Got suggested to me and I thought, okay, I mean Oscar doesn't really tell me a whole lot but I guess I'll find out. If you want to join me on the journey of discovering what this film is all about then great, hop on and let's go. Pop, is there anything I can do for you? Ah! Oh. Oh. Papa, what have I done? Gangster, you rob, you steal, you shoot the people. I can understand how that may upset you, Papa, but try to keep your composure. You scared the living crap out of me. You bring the shame in the family. <laughs> Papa, no! Oh, Jesus and, Christ! And... Okay, I'm, I'm not here to preach how people should raise their children, but I don't think this is it. I swear, you become honest, man. All right, Papa. I'll go straight. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is why you do not become an undertaker or anything related to corpses because they wake up. That's a so you won't forget. Just die already and stop this. Thank you. Today's the boss's big day. Remember? Yeah, the day Snap's brother alone goes straight. Who ever heard of a banker named Snaps? Those bankers will be here to cinch the deal at noon. He's hooking up with O'Banion's mob. Provolone was just laying low. I mean, maybe the yegg's gone straight. A leopard don't change his stripes. Can I talk to you alone, Mr. Provolone? I've come to ask you for a raise. You have got to be joking. You woke up an ex-mafia boss to ask him for a raise? Are you asking to get shot? How much you want to be making? 1400 a month. Get the hell off my atrium! As I was saying last night to Mr. Lipinski. Lipinski? Hey, how can you associate with such a lowlife? Mr. Lipinski is willing to pay me the 1400 a month. <sighs> Maybe if you're paid your boys a decent salary, this wouldn't be an issue. The wall plug. Oh, Mr. Provolone, I am touched by your faith in me. Mr. Provolone, it is my honor to ask for your daughter's hand in matrimony. What? <laughs> what? Did not see that coming. This is gonna be interesting. Uh oh. My daughter? Ooh. How do you know my daughter? Let me take care of <laughs> Fork it over. Oh. We're not in that business anymore. At noon, we become bankers. You think I'm gonna let you marry my daughter for her money? I don't love your daughter for her money. When I marry her, I plan to give her my entire fortune. How much got a goomba like you have? $48,642.30. Wow. How did you save 50 grand on 400 a month? I stole it from you. When I first took over as your accountant, your books were a mess. I changed all that. I made a slight clerical error. And I knew that a big man like Angelo Provolone wouldn't begrudge his future son-in-law a nickel, which I planned to give to your daughter anyway. So you, you are justifying that you stole from him because you are marrying his daughter? Well, you got your head screwed on backwards, love. Does she love you? Oh, yes, I'm sure of that. Your daughter and I are lovers. What? This is not something you tell your future father-in-law, love. What is wrong with you? You don't have to give me your answer right now. Good! Because I want to talk to my sweet little girl first. I know all about your boyfriend. You know? Yes. You have to realize I'm not a little girl anymore. Look! Uh, why, 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 why? I'm your father! Yes. You're not going to marry that monkey. You're going to marry the man I picked out for you, Bruce Underwood III. <laughs> Underwood, he's a snob and he's got pimples. Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh, sweetie. That is um, not the way to convince your father that you're a grown woman. Watch this door. She's not going nowhere. Are we in such dire straits that we want the name Angelo Snaps Provolone on our letterhead? Bringing a gangster on the board. Ex gangster. I have so many dreams. I want to go to an opium den in Chinatown. She wants to go to an opium den in Chinatown? Whatever floats your boat, love. Marrying my boyfriend was my last chance to get out of this prison. I went to this play once. There was a scene where a girl made her parents think she was pregnant, and they were forced to let her marry her boyfriend. If I told Daddy I was pregnant, he'd kill me. Most likely. Either way, you'd get out of this house. What, in a body bag? I've decided to go away to a convent. Now you want to be a nun? No, Daddy. 
Convents are also where unwed mothers go to have their babies. What? You're not going to any convent. You're going to marry this bum just as soon as I get my hands on him. There's a dame at the door. What can I do for you, miss? Teresa. Mr. Provolone, I've done a stupid thing. What's that? I've fallen in love with a man named Anthony Rosano. You're right. That's a stupid thing. He's already spoken for. What do you mean? Anthony just asked to marry my daughter. I lied to Anthony. What? I told him that I was your daughter. So you see, when he asked for permission to marry, it was me he wanted. That what? means he never even met my daughter. That's wonderful! Then who's the father? Look at you, Snaps. One day you're being honest and you're falling apart. Can I speak to you? No. Not now. Angelo! Well, who's this? What's the matter? Jesus, Mary, and Joseph! Look at the example you've set. Filling the house of thugs, goons, and hitmen! All right, well, sometimes I had to bring my work home with me. Who did this thing to you? Tell Mama. It's Oscar. The chauffeur? We gotta talk. Angela, we've gotta talk. You must be Mrs. Provolone. I just asked permission to marry your daughter. Lisa? No, oh. dear, not Lisa. The other one. What other one? He's losing his mind. You know that 50 G's you chiseled from me? And plan to give to your daughter after we're married? Give it to her before you're married. I converted it to precious stones. Diamonds, what? emeralds, that kind of thing. I'll go get it right now. Where's that chauffeur? You fired him. I'm leaving you to go to the Underwoods. Underwoods? You're going to work for Bruce? I'm marrying Bruce. You're marrying Bruce? I found the first. Well, uh, Bruce, is that guy the guy with the pimples? You're fired! You can't fire me. You just did. I quit! Oh, ah, OK. You have to find Oscar. Oscar's been scratched. He jumped the country. But the baby needs a father. Baby's got a father. What we need is a husband. He's back again for the third time. And now he's got a little black bag. Do I have permission to marry your daughter now? Not so fast. I've got some wonderful news for you. Well, what could be more wonderful than marrying your daughter? Having her baby? Teresa's pregnant? Teresa's pregnant? Who was Teresa? My daughter, you sap. All right, Connie, never mind about her now. Go back to watching my other daughter. He's so confused. You're having a baby. Your father told me. I am not having a baby. And he's not my father. Oh! What? I lied to you, Anthony. He conned me out of his money. You seem more interested in this money than you are in me. Teresa, come back! It's too much activity. Snaps is up to something. It's too quiet. Provolone is up to something. Guy can't do anything right, can't he? I demand to speak with you, Mr. Provolone. I guess you're pretty pleased with yourself. I yeah. got my money back and nobody got shot. He just got his money back that you stole from him, so. If it's the jewels you want, you can have them. Just keep your part of the bargain and marry my daughter. I am not marrying Lisa. I am marrying Teresa. You don't even know what Teresa is. I want Oscar. I want him more than you do, but he's on the lamb and Anthony's taking the rap for him. Lisa, this is your husband-to-be, Anthony Rosano. Oscar was cuter. Who's Oscar? The chauffeur. Oh, you mean she's having the chauffeur's baby? You're pregnant with Oscar's baby. Would I be marrying you if I wasn't? I'd do anything to get out of this house. And where am I doing all this? Babysitting Oscar's kid? I never want to see your face again. You can just feel the love ooze off them. Oh, hi, Dr. Paul. Tim Curry? A brilliant scholar like yourself is still single? Oh, work has always come first. We don't have to marry each other. I found someone else. Dr. Poole. He's old enough to be my father. More importantly, he's old enough to be your baby's father. He loves you passionately. He just told me. Anthony's trying to tell me that now you're in love with Dr. Poole. Yes, I am. What? Put Poole out of your mind. You're marrying Anthony. <laughs> if it's Poole you want, it's Poole you'll get. But Lisa, you got to cross the finish line on this one. He's your third fiance today, and it's not even like shit. <laughs> Guy's leaving again. And here comes a priest. Why a priest? Excuse me, Mr. Provolone. From now on, I'll be having servants of me own. Yes, most definitely, with all that cash you just picked up. My daughter's turning 18 and she wants to get married. Who's the lucky man? You are, Doc. What? You're not married or anything, are you? But I hardly know the girl. I'm a little confused. You and me both. I'll be right back. Oh, 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 oh. Now Provolone's coming out with a black bag. Cheese and crackers. 
Why do you have a priest in your house? Congratulations on your daughter marrying Bruce Underwood. She's now marrying a nice Italian boy, Anthony Rossano. Forget Anthony. She's not marrying him anymore. What? Someday she'll find the right one. She's found the right one. Who? Dr. Poole. Dr. Poole? Hello? Oh, my Get God. Get back in the room. Why isn't she marrying Anthony? Because Anthony's marrying Teresa. Who's, Who's Teresa? Teresa? I came to return this suitcase collect you. Who told you I was in love with you? Anthony. But I thought you were in love with me. Who told you that? Your father. Your diction is surprisingly good, considering your genealogy. That's the sweetest thing anybody's ever said to me. Will you check the back at least? Keep that a bare minimum here. You give me back the jewels that are rightfully mine, and I'll give you back the money which isn't. All right, I guess you outsmarted me. Another drop. Take this bag and bring it into the library. Ew! No what you Ew, he put the chicken. Ew. I just called the maid service and they're sending someone over. It's time it's a chauffeur. He's got bag men all over the city. Mr. Underwood sent me to return Mr. Provolone's suitcase. Und? I'm here to collect Miss Nora's suitcase. Wait, okay, I'm confused. So, which bag did Nora bring then? Here you go. Dr. Poole! <gasps> Get in there, we gotta talk. Are you sure you want this man as your father-in-law? I made you an offer earlier to marry my daughter. Yes. Most men spend their whole lives trying to get their hands on what's in here. Somebody is going to get shot. Let's get out of this madhouse. Whatever you say, baby. Your daughter's not your daughter. And the cash that used to be the jewels is now your underwear. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Nope, nobody does. Look, Underwood, your chauffeur snatched the wrong bag. Do something about it. And pronto. I walked out on Anthony, the only man I've ever loved. Oh, okay. For you. Do you know where I can find him? I may have an idea where he is. Thought you could pull a fast one on me, huh? I gave you the cash in exchange for those jewels. Yeah, but you were supposed to get the underwear. What underwear? All this could be avoided if they would just look into the bag before they give the bags away. Anthony, I am so sorry. No, no, no. This whole thing was my fault. No. Hello, I was sent by the employment agency. So how long have you been a maid? My first job was for a man named James Bonomo. Jumpin' Jimmy Bonomo? I was a driver for Jumpin' Jimmy. That's mm -hmm. right, Snaps. Roxy? Then you remember me? How can I forget you were my first? I mean, we were... Uh, okay. Honey, I do not think your wife is going to appreciate this. You just disappeared on me. How come? Well, I, I didn't think I was working in the best atmosphere to raise my baby you had a baby she'll be getting married soon oh, i'm so happy for you roxanne say who's the lucky guy oh he's a very successful accountant <laughs> he makes 1400 oh. a month wait a minute i figured this out before he did proud of myself wouldn't happen to be little anthony rosano would it you know him wait then you gotta be teresa's mother you know teresa too well i should after all she's my daughter than you've known all along. No what? That you and I, that we... Oh! Don't you get it, boss? She had your kid. Teresa really is your daughter. I knew she said she was my daughter, but I didn't think I was her father. I was afraid that you'd be angry. Aldo, get Teresa. Teresa! Do you see what I gotta put up with around here? You're the daughter of Snaps Provolone. Thornton and I are getting married. Aldo, get out a couple bottles of champagne. We're going to celebrate. Let's just get this over with. I have to get back to the office and turn down alone. Sophia, my wife. Meet Teresa, my daughter. She's your daughter. Who's her mother? I am. You had a child with the new maid? Have we come at a bad time? Uh, yes. Oh, it, 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 it's happening, Mr. Vendetti. Just like we thought. Let's not beat around the bush. We all know what kind of background he comes from. It sounds like they don't trust me. All right, grab some sky hooks and hold it. Holy crap. You don't really think we're in business with these people, do you, officer? Angel advisory board. We need to re-elect Herbert Hoover. 
Eastside Athletic Club. How many bass are you going to collect, honey? Why would Snap's provolone be meeting with four bankers? I got it! The bag! It seems that our friend Snaps here has been laundering mob money through their bank. And here's your proof. <laughs> oh! Oh! Well, well, Mr. Vendetti. All right, boys, take him in. So we back in business, Mr. Provolone? You can forget that Mr. Provolone stuff from now on. Call me boss. Yes, boss! Sorry, Papa, I did the best I could. Okay, let's talk about it. All right, that was me watching Oscar with Sylvester Stallone. It was okay. I mean, it was funny. It was really funny. I I thought he was going to be Oscar, but clearly not. And uh, this whole bag situation confused me. I, maybe I'll get it when I start editing the film, but I got confused as to who was bringing in what. Who took the cash, who brought in the stones, who took the underwear, who brought them back. All that whoosh that just messed with my head. But I did like it. I would say like 3 out of 5. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos 5 days a week. I'll see you in the next video.